Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? Uh, I'm going to do the next um, part of the late fall, early winter finesse fishing. And there was a few things I was considering. Should I do like football head jigs, uh, crankbaits, things like that. I figured I'd start with Neds because I do use the Ned rig a lot. Um, I mean all year long, but especially in the fall um, and the early winter. As long as we can get out and fish. Um, I don't know how it is by you guys, but up here in New Hampshire, it, it's been like unseasonably warm, and now it's been really cold for about a week straight. Snow, you know, not a lot of snow, but just enough to make it, you know, not nice out that you want to be out on the water. But um, there are a million, I think, different Neds you can choose from. Um, I just pulled out some different Ned baits. I'm not going to go through all the colors. This would be a three-hour video, and everybody would be falling asleep watching it. Um, but I'm just going to show you some of the different ones I have. So if you got a pen and a paper and you want to take notes here, or you could just watch the video a few times, but I'll try and list everything I can in the, in the description. This description might be pretty long because I pulled out everything that's a traditional Ned bait and then some other cr smaller creature type baits I use as Neds and things like that. So I'm just going to go through them, and I'm sure there's probably 15 or 20 other up on the racks here in the boxes that I forgot about. Um, as far as just straight Neds go, um, I'm just going to go through these in the order that I have them piled up in front of me because I just pulled out a bunch of different bags and I pulled out some boxes. Um, Any one you want to use is fine. Everybody, a lot of guys might just be, you know, might want to just use a Z-Man. <clears throat> and I've got plenty of Z-Mans, <laughs> as you guys can see. And these are different types of Z-Man baits, not just Neds. This is like that Ned Crawl over here. That TRD crawl you could use. These are different, not so much Ned type baits, more like swim baits. But I got bags and bags of these. I think this one is more the Ned one here. Yeah, this is more the Ned Ned kit. So how well you guys can see this. I'll hold it up for you. But everybody has used the TRD Ned. And it's nice because it's out of last tech, so they don't up on you that much and I still use them I know that TRD hog is a good one but you can't go wrong just using the, the Z-Man the Z-Man then they have these nice little uh, cases you can buy that you can use <clears throat> but I even got the little ones I don't even know what's in these ones I could do a video just on on Z-Man stuff this is that uh, TRD uh, Tickler Z, which is kind of a, like a Ned bait with like a little bit of a tail to it, almost like a tube tail. So, I mean, there's just so many options as far as just, just looking at Z-Man stuff. Um, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I've got so many here. I'll just start with the bags in front of me and I'm gonna put them in a box as I'm done with them. Um, for you guys, uh, you know I used to live in New Jersey. I used to always go up to Wacky Worm. And Wacky Worm makes their own Neds. I just pulled out a couple bags. Um, you can get a good deal on these big 50 packs. They have lots of different colors. I haven't been to the store obviously since I moved in a couple years. But I think this is the water. I think this is just that green pumpkin candy. Well, you just want your traditional Ned? There you go. For a good deal, that wacky worm one, those 50 packs go a long way. So I just pulled out a couple of them. I'll even show you some of the ones I bought because that's just the same one in black. So that Ned in Black from Wacky Worm. But for you guys, uh, you know, just go on the internet if you don't live in the Pennsylvania area. Uh, and just uh, look up Wacky Worm in, in, uh, in Gilbert, PA, and you'll see it. They've got great stuff. Uh, let me see. Some of the custom stuff I have, I'm just going to go through the box. Of, um, Brett at uh, Game on Baits makes some nice uh, Neds. I've got a bunch of his Neds. And I'm not going to open these because they're going to reek like garlic. <laughs> You guys can see. He knows, uh, and I, I, he made these watermelon candies for me. He makes a great Ned. This is that really cool color he made. I have some of these in a box up there. I don't want to stink up the whole area quite yet. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> now, as far as Ned rigging goes, you could just throw a four inch Senko. Works fine. You could throw a three inch Senko. Works fine in a net. There's another one that I used in that 
that vein that's more that, that I need more than that now that I'll get to as I as I unpile here. I mean, if you guys like a bigger Ned, six cents Ned fry. Now it's a little bigger. I don't tend to use this in this in the winter time like this when it's cold out. This is more to me is more of a summertime Ned, the Ned fry. But it's a nice bait, nice colors. You see, that's a four and a half inch. That's not that three, two, two and a half, three inch size you, you're usually looking for when you're finesse fishing. But these, as I, as they, as they kind of get chewed up, I tend to cut them down so they get to that traditional Ned size. And that's another good option for you. You almost could get two Neds out of this. But like I said, I just pulled, I just pulled everything that said Ned on it off the shelves just to, just to show you guys. But the six cents Ned fry is nice. But like I said, I don't tend to use that as much this time of year. Uh, let me get some of the more well-known brands out of the way here first before I get to the custom stuff. Um, Zoom, they make a nice net. Uh, the Beatdown. The Beatdown is a nice is a nice net option. And any one of these will work. You know, if you have one you like better than the other, go with it. If one you have confidence in, they're all good bits. That's just the Zoom Beatdown. And you can also look at, I mean, Zoom baits are very inexpensive. You get those 50 packs at Wacky Worm, that's, they're very inexpensive. Uh, let's see. I'll save that one for later. This is more of a, a different kind. I'll save that for later. Oh, here we go. Um, missile baits. They make their own Ned. The Ned Bomb, which is a nice bait. You guys have never used a Ned Bomb before? I've caught lots of fish on the Ned Bomb. That's got more of that, like, stinger to it but that's a good option nice option now I tend to not use ones that have those tails on them in the cold cold water I tend to stick with just the straight you know Ned types but missile baits they make a nice Ned color or a lot of nice Ned colors I should say that's a good option for you now I'm going through these a little fast because I got a ton of them <laughs> and like I said I don't want a five-hour video uh, let's see. Uh, yum. The Yum Ned Dinger is a nice bait. That's always a good option. You can get them at Walmart. Wherever you buy tackle, you'll see them on the shelf. I've grabbed a few packs. And I've thrown them. Caught fish on. They're all good. I tried them out. They all work for you. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. That's more of a different, more of a finesse thing. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh my god, I've got too many baits here. Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. One of my favorites is the Robo Worm Ned Worm. And I think what I like about them is they just have so many cool colors. Like this is that bold bluegill color. The Margarita Mutilator is a great color brown on it, that purple. One of my favorites. Uh, this uh, yellow perch one is great. I'm always throwing these ones around that morning dawn. So they've got they've got great colors. Rubble worm. One of my one of the ones I tend to use more than others. Now not that they're not all good. They all work. Put fish on all of them. It's just that everybody's got a Ned break a, a Ned bait now. All right, let me see if there's any other of, like, the really well-known... Oh, here we go. Now. All right, let me get these out. Um, another one that I use a lot, especially when it seems like it's getting a little tougher, is the, the, uh, the Max Scent Little General, which is their version of the Ned, just because of that scent. You know, that great max scent that really seems to attract fish when they're not in the mood to bite. I've done well with this. I've done well with this Ned. Just a few different colors. This is a really a good option for you when it's really, really tough. Get that max scent smell. And which, you know, which guys kind of explain it as, uh, you know, it's like gulp that doesn't dry out. So it won't dry out laying on the deck. This is a great fish catcher, especially when they're really, 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 really picky. You might have a lockjaw. If you're throwing neds and you're not getting bit, try the max scent version and let it soak. And this might, you know, make a tough day better for you. 
Um, along the lines of the Mac scent, let me see what else I got pulled out here. I throw a lot on the Ned, <clears throat> uh, a Ned rig, Ned hook, uh, the four inch general. I use that maybe even more than their, their little general. But I think a lot of guys were throwing this as a Ned and then they came out with the little general just because Ned bait fishing was so popular and everybody was doing it. But that four inch general is a great option great option so if you have some four inch generals around throw that on a net head another max scent bait that i love to use as there's oh, another color in that four inch general this is one of my favorite colors actually right here that watermelon copper that orange red flake i love this color one of my favorites um, another bait you can use in the uh, max scent line for net rigging which really works well is the flatworm. Now everybody loves this as a um, drop shot bait, maybe the most popular drop shot bait in the country right now, but put this on a net head <laughs> and it really does well. If you're struggling and they're not biting a regular net maybe and you wanna, you wanna switch it up, take that, take that, that uh, Max Scent flatworm, put it on a net head, works great works great and as you see here I'll show you drop shot baits do very well as Ned as Ned baits as Ned baits uh, let's see mm, let me just see what I've got and if there's anything in boxes here I want to show you guys quick eh, I'll save the boxes for last uh, what do I got on the table here now are some custom Neds and then some more I would probably call you know creature bait type Neds um, so let me start with mm, what I got here you guys all know <clears throat> that my favorite Ned is the Tick Ned. And I always, I've done plenty of videos on it. You can look through the, the library of my videos and see. It gets that, it's a, you know, two and three quarter inch bait. That's a crazy crawl color, which I love. I think this is the first color I ever bought from Eric. And they're just great Neds. They're very durable, lots of colors, and it's, and it's custom. So these are some of my favorite colors in the Tech Neds. And you know that I love, I, you guys have seen the videos, the Smokey the Bear is great. You guys have seen the videos of, uh, you know, I love that, that, that pink one for, uh, for bed fishing. That's a great color too, that natural curl. But, but these are custom poured Neds. You know this is one of my favorites. You know, when I start throwing Neds, this is usually the first one I go with. And I never really ever have to switch because <laughs> I'm always catching fish. Um, another, um, great custom bait company is Sean Stump Thumper Baits. He makes a really nice Ned. This is his Ned Thorn. I'll one of these out and show it to you. I know I've done videos on these before and like I said you can always go back and this is his Ned Thorn. See it's come more of a tapered down to like a pointy tail but these are great Neds. Sean makes a really nice Ned and like I said custom colors. So if you guys would love custom colors Check out Stump Thumper Lures. Stump Thumper Baits from Sean in PA. Makes some great stuff. Made some awesome colors for me. I mean, you just don't get any better than that right there. That's my favorite. That watermelon candy. I don't know. Some of the colors have worn off here. I don't know actually what they call them anymore. Not that it matters. You could always say, hey, that third one Mark showed me. I want it. Now, another... Ned bait that he makes. Now these are now we're gonna get into some maybe some things that are a little different. That you don't usually see. This is what he calls his Ned Leech. And like I said, I've done videos on these before, so this is gonna be more of a short version. But you can see it's a nice thin bait. So you could see that you're just in this cold water, just moving along the bottom. Maybe they'll think it's a leech. Gives you a different body, you know. You're not a lot of people are gonna be throwing this. Everybody in the lake is throwing a Ned. You throw this there, this might be the one that gets the bite. So he also makes what he calls the Ned Leech. You can see it's that, that very thin body. So I think I got a few of those. Of course, I have to have it in Water Mountain Candy. Melon Bomb color. You know, they're all, this is more of the, uh, the Ned Thorns here. Love that with the chartreuse tail. I think this is just a pretty much, this is just a phantom black, which is a great color to throw. So custom guy, the guys that are making the custom baits that you find like on online, on Instagram, they make some great stuff, some great stuff. Let me see if I have any more customs here I can show you quick as I move on. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Eh, I'll save that for later. That's more of a more of a specialty item there. I'll save that for when we get to the... Now, as far as Ned Bates, eh, I'll save that for the end, too. I, can't just, I just got too much stuff here. Um, now, some of these baits I'm going to show you are more on the creature type and also uh, drop shot type baits that you can use. So let me start with... I wouldn't say this is necessarily a creature bait, but there's a bait company <clears throat> called Crazy Hick Bait Company. And I showed you their spider jig in my last video. They also make these cool, they're called the Dexty Dew Grub. And grubs are great Ned baits. Now, I use this as a trailer a lot, but it's also really good on a Ned bait because it's only a three and a half inch bait. So you can imagine the action you'll get with this. On a Ned head. So now it's a little bulkier obviously than your typical Ned. Maybe in the super cold water. I haven't tried this in the super cold water yet. But I'm going to. When I have my finesse box out with me. I don't want too much tail action when it's cold but a little bit might be nice. You'll see because I, when I try these different baits if they're not hitting the Ned maybe they do want something with a little more action or maybe they don't take this don't want that regular Ned. But it's a good option. It's always good to have a lot of different options. But I encourage you to check out this uh, crazy hick bait company and check out their Dexter Dew. It's really a cool grub. That's a uh, green pumpkin purple, which is an awesome color. I'm sure I'll get some more of these from them. I see them at the show this year. But a really nice trailer slash net option for you there. And I guess you could put that in the creature bait category if you wanted to. I'll put it more in the grub category. Um, on that same you know, a vein of what we were just talking about when I was at the, uh, the, the out, outdoor show last year. Uh, Fresh Baits makes a really cool Ned creature bait. Which I know I've done a video on. But that is, I mean, you want something a little different, guys? <laughs> Check that out. These are cool. And all these, I've caught fish on all these baits. All these baits. You know, sometimes you just stick with a regular Ned. But if you want to switch it up, like I said, if you're out there fishing and everybody's throwing a Ned, you throw this out here, you'll think it's one of those Helm Elba Greats, uh, uh, how would you say it, on the bottom there swimming around. Or those Helgies swimming around. This is, I saw these at the show. I said, I got to get these. This is actually the same color. We got another one here. I forget what these colors are. I don't think it says it on the pack. I'm sure if you go on there, I'll show you the Fresh Baits website. But like I said, I've done a video on these. You could always look back. Or if you just Google search it, you'll find them. But really a cool option if you want that creature style Ned bait. Uh, let's see. Another new one that I, I haven't even thrown yet. I just got these. This is Great Lakes Finesse. And they make these snack craws. You see that? That is really cool. <laughs> you want to talk about a finesse craw to throw this time of year? When it's tough out. I mean, how finessey can you get right there? That is a, a tiny morsel for a, a, a smallie, a largey. But I'm really, I haven't tried these out yet, out yet. I'm really looking forward to it. Small Ned head, nothing too big. I don't even think I got, and I throw quarter ounce Ned head a lot. I probably wouldn't even go quarter with these. I'd probably even go lighter. But I'm really looking to try these out in some of these different colors. That's a green pumpkin one. And they are floating baits, so I would assume that those claws are going to really... And, and, and you can see there's videos of these on online. I haven't done one yet because I haven't used them yet, but I definitely will be. But there you go. They also make this, this uh, two, two and a quarter inch flat cat, which I'm going to throw in a Ned rig too. Now, I, I might, um, I will probably also drop shot these, but I'm going to try these on a Ned. I got a couple of these when I made my order. It's green pumpkin red. I think there was another one here. And like I said, I've done a video on these. You guys can check back and get a longer version. I'm just trying to show you all these different baits that are good options for you with this time of year. Uh, let's see, let's see. Another one on that creature bait idea that I have used before. I haven't used them in a couple of years. But they're kind of always uh, up there on the shelf, and I go, oh, let me throw a couple of these in the bag. Um, Lunker City makes their Helgi, too. They make a three inch, which I'll show you. 
which is a nice, small, finesse, Helgramite, you know, looking bait. So when these things are crawling around on the bottom of the, of the lake, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much real looking you could get than that. So it's kind of like that fresh baits thing. But this is made by Lunker City. The three inch Helgi, Helgi, or Helgi, Helgi, sorry. Watermelon red. I don't think I've ever shown you these on a video before, but I, I have a bunch of these that I like to use when the finesse season's around. It's a nice option. Now they also make, which I don't tend to use in the cold weather, but I will try it, is the five inch size. So it's a bigger morsel. Now since this is such a, a thin bait, not bulky at all, you know, you could probably get away with the five inch. Who knows, maybe try the five inch, maybe get a bigger bite, even in the cold water. But these are very natural looking and work great on a net head. So if you're looking for something different, the Helgramite, you know, style, the Lunker City Helge is a good option. That's another one of that three inch, I like that chartreuse one. What do they call that? They just call that big, big fish. <laughs> good name for a color, big fish. Here's the big, here's the, the big fish in the, I'll show you that up close because it's so cool looking. <clears throat> Is that big fish color, the Helgi and the uh, five inch size. Now, I don't, it might be hard for a small mouth to resist right there. With that on a net head, drag it around. See how you make out. Hopefully, I get out this year, you'll see some videos with these on here. Because I, that's why I took all these baits out. I started taking baits out for finesse fishing. And uh, I said, you know what, let me just do a video on it. Uh, uh, if you want just a small crawl, I'll just show you this quick, and I've shown you this one before. The BB Cricket from Gambler really makes a nice net bait. So if you guys have these laying around, especially some of you old timers like me, <laughs> or guys have been fishing for a while, that have the BB Cricket and use it, this is a great net bait. Looks just like a little crayfish sitting down there on the bottom. And I just pulled out a couple packs that I had on the shelf right there and said, oh, I can't forget that one. Especially this color right here, with that orange belly. This BB Cricket on a net head, it will work. <laughs> it will work for you. I have used it and it has worked. Uh, let's see. All right, that's more. I'm going to save these baits that are kind of drop shot baits for last that I also use as neds. Um, another one that I've got that I really haven't used it much. I, I, when I first got them, I used them a little bit, quite a few fish, but I just it's one of those things where you got so many different baits or you just throw in a ned, you're catching them. Um, <clears throat> G. LaRue makes this uh, this Ned Rig Inchworm, which has like a little paddle tail on it. I don't know if I've done a video and showed this to you guys before. But I took these out one day and caught some fish on them. But you can see, it's kind of got that Ned, it's got a Ned, Ned, Ned profile, a little longer bait. How, how, how long are these again? I don't even know if it says. My guess is that's about a, mm, it might be a four inch bait, but it has that little boot tail. So it gives it a little bit of a boot tail action. So like I said, just to show them something different, and those ribs are nice, it give you a little vibra give you a little vibration in the water. That's a great color right there. But this is a nice option. And I bought these at Bass Pro, so if you're shopping at Bass Pro this uh, holiday season and you're looking at some different nibs to try and they've got these hanging up, try them out, they're pretty cool. It's that Western Crawl color is nice. I got a few different colors of them. Minnesota Flash. Threadfin Shad. Can't go wrong with that. So if everybody's head hasn't exploded yet from all these different baits, I'll show you a few more. Now this is one I got this year. And I was excited to oops, and I was excited to try. And I only tried it once and I had a little problem with the plastic, but I think I just have to. You know, it's got that, the, the Savage Gear Ned Rig. That Ned Salamander. It still looks so cool in the water, but I did have a little issue with it the first time. I think I was probably using too big of a Ned head. And I kind of got a little flustered with it, and I put it down. So I'm going to... So actually, it might be the one I was throwing. It's a little beat up. Because it's got, it's a very thin body. So I think I was probably using too big of a net head. So, it's, so I have to try it again with a smaller net head. But if you want something that's really finessey, really different, 
It might look like a little salamander crawling along the bottom of the, of the lake. That Savage Gear uh, Ned Salamander is really cool. But I would suggest, and I'm going to work on it myself, of using a very, you know, the smallest Ned you can get away with, a bigger Ned head, and it gets kind of a pain getting it through that, that elastic -y type, you know, I don't know what they call their, their version, Duratech. <laughs> it says it right on the back. Their Duratech version. And uh, just like the last tech and stuff, don't put it with anything else. If you put it with your regular plastic, it'll all melt together. It even says it on the back of the pack. But they are cool. It's a cool body and a cool shape. I just have to find the right hook, I think, that fits in there. I think I was trying to use too, bigger, too big of a Ned rig hook for that. So, But they are cool. And it's definitely a different type of, of Ned look to the bait instead of just a you know, straight Ned. Uh, let's see. Now, this is another custom bait. Now, this isn't necessarily a Ned rig. But many of you guys, um, some of you, many of you guys, some of you guys may have heard of uh, Bounty Hunter custom baits from Connecticut. And they make a Versa worm, which I, I threw as a Ned and did very well when I first got it. And I've gotten some more. So it's really just a finesse worm. I guess you could say it looks, I mean, it's a Ned body, kind of. Um, it's just a little, little paddle tail. But these are awesome on a net head. Awesome. And a lot of times if I'm not bit getting bit on a regular net, I'll switch up to this just to give them a different look. And I love this black and chartreuse color. It's a great color. I pretty much have two colors because I bought two at a show years ago and I said, I got to get more of that color. This, this, this brown and orange is great too. So it's the Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter custom base located in Connecticut. They're on Instagram, I know. And like I said, I'll put as links to as many of these as I can find links to and put them in the description. They really make a nice finesse Ned type worm, this Versa worm. Now, they probably don't consider it a, ver a, a Ned worm. They might, um, but I, that's how I use it. And this is the bigger size. I think that's a three inch. I think this is a four inch. I'll show you the bigger size quick. I think I've done a video on these before, but I'll show it to you again anyway. So if you want a little beefier one, but, I mean, that's a small killer right there. That Versa Worm is a great option for you if you're Ned rigging, finesse fishing. But I think that's it for the super customs I have on the table. I do have some boxes I'll show you before I wrap it up here. Now, you don't have to just use, um, um, you know, quote-unquote Ned rigs for Ned rigging. Amazingly, and not amazingly, but... Drop shot baits make very good Ned baits, just like that flat one. Now, a few of them that I like to use as Neds, or have used and caught fish, one of them is uh, Gajo, Bakes, uh, Gajo Baits Spirit Shad. If you take the Spirit Shad, now I know that Gajo has their own Ned, which I actually have somewhere on the shelf. I could have taken them out too. But if you take that Spirit Shad and throw that on a Ned head, it works well. <laughs> it does, it works very well. Uh, don't don't sleep on these uh, drop shot baits as Ned baits because they work very well. They have the perfect body for it. So the Gajo baits is a great option as a Ned rig or on a Ned rig. The Gajo also does make they all, they also they do have their own Ned which I don't I have somewhere around here I just didn't dig it out. As I as I figured was I did this video I would think of more that I that I have that I that I uh, don't know where they are I just haven't brought them out of the box. Um, Beast Coast, the Magic Flick, is a really good uh, Ned Rig bait. Really good. Now, I, most of the time, obviously, most of the time I'm using these baits for drop shotting. But there are times when I'm out there fishing and I'm maybe catching fish on this drop shot and I go, you know what, let me try it with a Ned and see how it goes. I can go through that same area that I just caught fish on a Ned, or I'm sorry, on a drop shot and put this on a Ned catch the fish I missed on the on the drop shot. It just has a great action in the water on a Ned. So it's another option for you uh, for, for a finesse Ned rigging. That beast, that beast Coast Magic Flick. I don't know what color that is. That's, uh, looks like, I'm not sure what that says. JL Candy Crush? I can't, it's kind of rubbed off. Great color. And they have so, I just pulled a bunch off. They have so many great colors. The uh, Black Melon, I'm not going to go through them all, i got a million of them here. Bass Candy, so you can just 
you can just see that that shape of that bait being really good, you know, in the water on a Ned head. You know, and I just I had a bunch of them on the table here. That I love that pink one. That morning dawn. Morning dawn HD. Yeah. I mean there's so many great ones. I think they have a 50% sale now, so you guys looking for sales, I think I just got an email today that Beast Coast is doing a 15% off sale, so check their website. But that bait is great on a Ned. Um, another bait that I'm somewhat new to, I got these at the outdoor show last year, is a Somatis Baits, their drop shot bait. The Somatis, uh, Somatis Shot, 3.25 inch bait. And this really makes a nice Ned rig bait too. Now he has his own Ned, which I don't have yet, which I'm sure I'll get. He, I think it was kind of new last year. They didn't have any at the show, so I'm sure if I see them at the show this year, I'll get some. But that Somatis Shad, or Somatis Shad, Somatis Shot on a Ned works very well. <laughs> I have caught some fish on this on a Ned and on a drop shot. Did great on Candlewood Lake on these uh, last year on a Ned. But if you're fishing and you think, hey, maybe I'll try this on the Ned, give it a shot. See how you do. I bet you catch some fish. These are nice, nice baits, the Somatis baits, all hand poured. If you're looking for another option, so, I mean, you're getting two for one when you buy a bait like this. You got it for drop shotting, you got it for Ned rigging, which makes it pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Wish you guys could see the floor, the pile here. Uh, let's see what else I got here. This is an old school bait. For you uh, older fishermen, like myself out there, uh, I even had to look it up because I forgot what it was called. This is called, this is the Man's Stingray Grub. And for you guys in the know, you know that this is a really good finesse bait. Um, we used to throw these on the reservoirs in New Jersey and do very well. If you throw this on a net head, <laughs> you will catch fish. I bought a, I got a bunch of these years ago. <clears throat> Man's, uh, man's must have stopped making them, and they were selling them dirt cheap for like 100 count bags or 50. I don't know, it was 100, might have been 100, 100 count bags on their website for like five bucks. And I bought a ton of them. And you know, I, I sometimes I forget about it just because it's a, you know one of those older baits, but I pull them out every now and then and throw them, and they never fail to work. Throw this on a Ned head. Let's see, this is just a, this is just a Wu Tungsten Ned Head. You just rig this up on Ned. And it's a little thicker, obviously, plastic than you're, you know, you're used to with your t traditional Neds. But, if you get that on a Ned Head, and throw that around the bottom, around the rocks. Think a smallie might eat that? But there you go. That is a great finesse. Now, I guess it's when this was created. I don't know. Do even people know what? Do people even know what Ned baits and Ned rigs were back then? Probably down where Ned Katie was making them, they knew what it was. But maybe not us people, up, uh, us guys up here in the Northeast. But this is a great option for you to throw something really different, really old school. And like I said, that Stingray Grub, I had to look the name up because I couldn't remember. Was it the, was it the Stinger? Head? I couldn't remember. And, I, and they do sell these, I think, as crappy baits on Bass Pro still. I guess this is, I, you know, I'm not a crappie fisherman, so I guess this is popular with crappie guys. But it is really a cool option for you. I always have this box on the boat with me, uh, especially this time of year and early in the season. Not so much in the summertime. Not that it wouldn't work. But this is a great option for you if you want to really, really finesse it up. Now, as far as Ned, Ned rig hooks go, whatever ones you like, use them. Um, I've got boxes of different ones, as you can see. I've got a ton of them from different companies. Some of these are, I think, Z-Man. Some of these are from Lure Parts Online. Some of them are very heavy for deep uh, Ned rigging. Some of these are like traditional ones from, I believe, Z-Man. Whatever one you like to use, use it. I'm not going to try to say one is better than the other because I've used so many different kinds. 
and as long as you've got a hook that you like, then it's good. Like uh, I tend to use more, obviously, now that I'm in New Hampshire, with uh, not being able to use lead, I use the tungsten ones. This is a tungsten box of just baits I always have in the boat with me. So the uh, Wu tungsten neds are nice. I like the Trocar ones. I also have boxes. These are the Tech Neds bed heads I like. I use those a lot. I'm going to close this box before I dump it. <laughs> and I have a mess on the floor. And I'm stepping on hooks. I showed you. I think I showed you. I showed you that box. That's all Ned Rig hooks. <laughs> you guys get the idea. You can never have enough Ned Rig hooks. This is a box. I'll just show you some of the boxes of Neds I have and some other options. That's the Tech Neds that Eric poured for me. And he also makes a Ned uh, Craw. Which is cool too if you want that craw option show them something a little different let's see what else i pulled out here might be something i forgot to mention oh these are some but these are some neds that brett made from uh, game on Whew, man some serious garlic <laughs> nice custom neds oh boy I was waiting for the end to do that. Oh, let's see what else we got here. Here's some more tech meds. I always have this in the boat with me. This is in the boat all year long. Especially that one for bed season or when the fish are shallow. So I don't know. I don't know why smallies hate pink, but they do. <laughs> they hate it. And plus, what's nice about it is it's easy to see while you're fishing, so you know if they're going after it. Another box of tech meds. Some different colors there. Uh, let's see. Some of these are, might be some other. Oh yeah, here's uh, this is some bounty hunter. Some of the bounty hunter baits in there. This might even be this might even be their Ned. I don't remember. This might be their Ned, but I'm not sure. I think it might be. I don't know. Some of these I might have made. This might be a Venom version of the Ned. I forget. I made so many finesse boxes. But you guys, that's that Versa worm from. Bounty Hunter. Really awesome. I'm assuming they're all Bounty Hunters since it says it on here. I think those top three Neds, though, those might be Venom. But so, so many people make make a, uh, a Ned bait now. Whichever one you like, <laughs> you know, go with it. This is another option that uh, Brett from Game On Baits made. I forget what he called these, but it's kind of got that Ned body, that little a tail almost like that. That the stingray grub tail, but on a little longer bait. These are a nice net option too. But I have got to close this box because the garlic is going to knock me out. <laughs> but I did very well on those uh, bed fishing and finesse fishing last year. Uh, for you guys who are, I believe these are all a combination. This is the Bass Pro version. I forget what they call it, but Bass Pro has their own nets. I don't know if they call them nets. But Bass Pro has their own. You'll see it in the... This is just a box of them. And I think this might be some wacky worms. I think some of these are... Almost smells like the wacky worm pl plastic. So it might be a combination of both in here. But you can see I'm pretty well stocked up with Neds. Whoops. I don't want to spill them all out. That would make a mess. Great colors. Bass Pro has some nice colors. But they all work. So next time you're at Bass Pro, you'll see they have them come in a little box. I forget how many baits are in the box. And I think these last two are just... This is like Riverwise Fishing. They have some, some Neds that are nice that I've used and put some nice fish on. Some cool colors. It's Riverwise Fishing. See them on Instagram. This was always one I did very well on. They make a nice Ned. Uh, let's see. That might be it. Thought I had one box that had just. Oh yeah. This is just, I believe, the wacky worm. Yeah, this is wacky worm neds. See all the different nice colors they have. One year when I first got it, I was using this one. I think they called it like a rainbow trout color. In the springtime, especially when the fish were like around on beds and stuff, this was killer. <laughs> I had. I had 
pieces of these torn up all over the boat. But this is, if you guys are in that Pennsylvania area, or you, you know, you can order online too. They have great, you know, these are all, you know, custom made by them, you know. They have some great colors. This red shad one's awesome. I don't know if that's a watermelon candy, green pumpkin candy, whatever. It's great. So they make a nice version too. So there is just so many options that you guys can use uh, when you're throwing a Ned. I know I showed you this, you know, you know when I did the finesse um, spider jig yesterday. This is a this is a finesse bait. This is a nice finesse bait. That uh, Cabin Creek showed you this on that last video. So any of these options are good. You've guys, you got a hundred different baits you can try uh, this time of year when it's when it's cold and you're fishing slow. Um, I tend to stick with that that traditional Ned bait, just that. When it gets really cold, I don't want too much action. That's just that traditional Ned, creep it along the bottom, just dragging it along. And this one might even be bigger than I'm looking for. I might even look for a smaller one. But you gotta let the fish tell you what they want. <clears throat> Sometimes they might want something with a little bit of a tail action. But there's so many different options. I figured, let me just, when I first started thinking of this video, I said, well, let me just take a couple Neds out. And then I was like, oh, here's another Ned. Here's another one. Here's another one. I said, what the heck? I'll just make the video that's already up to 41 minutes. I'll just make it to 10 minutes longer and show you everything. And uh, I'm sure, like I said, there's probably more up there on the shelf that you could use. Um, if you wanted to so but everybody has their favorite baits everybody has their confidence baits um, all of these baits will catch fish all these baits are good um, but there are other things you can use you can use those uh, those drop shot baits make really good ned rigs you know uh, really good ned rigs because it's just it's a, i think it's just a, like a little different action it might look more like a bait fish to them or if you like those crawfish ones if you like those you know those z-mans you know that have that crawfish body to them Oh, what bag that was. There's so many of these Z-Man things. That's more minnow bait. Let's be in the big bags here. As you can see, I got a lot of Z-Man stuff. But if you guys were just to get like, you know, I shouldn't even say a bag like this. You got a bag like this. <laughs> Took a few bags of, uh, of whatever Ned, Ned baits you like and put them in there. And they have these little things in them where you can put your hooks in. You wouldn't need much else. Look, see, I got some Z-Man hooks right in there. They have these nice little like pouches here you can stick your hooks in. And just take a couple of, you know, Ned baits that you like. Go out there and throw them around and you'll do great. Um, and now I'm a jig fisherman. <laughs> and here I am talking about Neds again. <laughs> But I guess as you get older, you get more uh, more into doing different things and trying different baits and looking at things. And but you know, I can't deny that the uh, how great the net has been. Um, I always tell guys the story like you know, I was always a guy that when I when I would bed fish in the spring, I would throw just throw a white tube, just a three inch, three and a half inch uh, white tube, throw it on a bed, and that seemed to be the way I could catch fish. I was never really a, a good sight fisherman. Um, you know, when I first was getting into bass fishing. Um, we had a tournament years back, I think it was on Lil and Ola, and I was, uh, it was it was in May, and there was fish on beds, and there was these two large mouth on this one bed <clears throat> that I couldn't get, you know, I'd caught fish in the morning on other beds, just throwing the white tube, swimming it through there, and they'd bite it. Got to these two fish on this uh, one bed, just throwing that white tube, and they wouldn't bite it for anything. And this is when kind of Ned Riggs was just kind of getting more popular, Z-Man was come. It was 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 a big thing. You saw a lot of guys on the on TV on the fishing shows were catching them on Ned rigs. And I said, you know what? Let me try that stupid Ned rig thing and see if it works. And I put it on and I threw it by the bed. And the second it went by the bed, the large mouth gills flared and it jumped <laughs> and it grabbed it and I caught him. This was after 30 minutes or more of trying to catch that fish, and I was hooked after that. I caught fish the rest of the day throwing that stupid thing around, and I was hooked ever since. And I've caught a lot of big fish. On that little bait so it's not just uh you know it's not just a small bait and small fish so it does work and it's really really good um early in the year and this time of the year you'll catch fish on it all all year long but i find them they're especially good when the water's a little colder fall when the fish are slowing down 
Sometimes the net is all I can get bid on. Um, so if you haven't tried it, I encourage you to try it. I've given you about 7,000 options here of different ones you can try. Um, and some of you guys may have these baits already, or you may have these drop shot baits, and you maybe don't drop shot with them much anymore. Hey, throw it on the net, you know, you know, and you'll see. It, they work. They work well. Um, so I think that's it. If I forgot any and I really want to show you, I'll do a part two. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, put it in the comments. Have you ever tried this bait? Maybe you guys know of one that I don't even know of. Uh, but if you know, I have plenty of more baits back there. I could, I could, you know, foresee as being a, a as a Ned Rig finesse bait. Um, but I think that's all I could, could show you tonight. Or the hour, of, the video will be two hours long. Um, but like I said, any comments, you know, uh, feel free to share that comment I got out the other day from Stephen. Really helped me do that part two. So if you guys have any other ideas or anything you want to mention, please do. Um, that's it. I think. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, so I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. I don't know if I'm gonna get any more videos in before the holiday. Um, so if I don't, everybody have a good Thanksgiving and I'll see you after Thanksgiving. Take care. Mark out.